The general formula of carboxylic acid is CNH2N plus 1 COOH, right? okay? And you need to know that the N, the N start from zero, okay? Now for most of others, the uh, homologous series, uh, the N start from one. For alkenes, the N start from two. Uh, but for this uh, carboxylic acids, the N start from zero, okay? So when N equal to zero, uh, then the formulas will become HCOOH, eh? okay? And uh, when N equal to 1, N equal to 1, then it will become CH3COOH. Eh? And when N equal to 2, then it will become C2H5COOH. Uh, okay? And when N equal to 3, then it become become a C3 H7COOH. So this is a general formula, okay? And this, these are the first four carboxylic acid. Yeah? First four carboxylic acid, yeah? Okay, so this is a general formula. And uh, the functional group, eh? the functional group is this, one carbon uh, attached to one oxygen uh, with a double bond, eh? and another one attached to this uh, OH, eh? OH group. And uh, this functional group is called the carboxyl group. The carboxyl group. So example, eh? example. This is the uh, first carboxylic acid, and we call it methanoic acid. Yeah, methanoic acid because it has only one carbon. So, so this is methanoic acid. Eh? Methanoic acid. You see, it has this uh, functional group. Eh? Okay. Uh, HCOH. Eh? This HCOH eh, is called methanoic acid, okay? Uh, this one has two carbons, so we call it ethanoic acid, eh? and then so you can see that this is a functional group, okay? Uh, and then this is a propanoic acid because it has three carbons, eh? three carbons, then we call it propanoic acid. So this is the introductions to carboxylic acid, eh? the general formula, the functional group, eh? and the first three carboxylic acid. Uh, this is an introduction to the reactions, uh, the chemical reactions of uh, carboxylic acid. Uh, from here, we can see that there are two methods to prepare carboxylic acid. Okay, oxidations of alcohol. Eh? Uh, there's a typo here. No H here. Okay. Uh, so oxidations of alcohol, eh? and also uh, oxidations of aldehydes. But aldehydes is not in our syllabus. Okay, aldehydes is not in our syllabus, and therefore, uh, it's not important. Just let you know that we have these uh, two methods to prepare carboxylic acid. That's all. Okay, um, you don't need to know about this. Okay, oxidations of aldehydes. If you don't know, fine. Okay, uh, we are not going to discuss that as well. Okay, and then so, um, from here we can see that there are five reactions of uh, alcohol. Alcohol react with alkali. This is uh, neutralization, uh, okay? Then the product is salt and water, uh, carboxylic, oh sorry, not alcohol, okay? Carboxylic acid react with alkali, it gets salt and water. Carboxylic acid with uh, oxide base, uh, you get salt and water. These two are neutralizations, uh, neutralizations. And then uh, carboxylic acid with metal, uh, you will get uh, salt and hydrogen gas. And a carboxylic acid with carbonate, then you will get salt, carbon dioxide, and water. Okay, and uh, the last one, carboxylic acid with alcohol, you get ester. Uh, there's also a typo here. Okay, there's, there's no H. Eh? There's no H. Uh, so you get ester, and uh, this this is called esterification. Eh? This is neutralization, and this is esterification. So this is the uh, summary of the chemical reactions of carboxylic acid. Namings of uh, carboxylic acid. Eh? Namings of carboxylic acid. Number of carbons. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now, when the number of carbon is equal to one, eh, the formula, the, the formula is a HCOOH, eh? and the name is called methanoic acid. Okay. Because the general formula is CN H2N plus one COOH, right? Uh, this is when n equal to zero. Eh? When n equal to zero, then it will become HCOH. Eh? But we still have one carbon here. Okay, 
even when n equals to zero, we still have a carbon here. Okay, n equals to zero, we have a carbon here, and this is the the first met, uh, carboxylic acid. Uh, we call it methanoic acid. What's the formula for the second carboxylic acid when the number of carbon is two? CH three COOH CH three COOH. Eh? Okay. Uh, because when n equal to 1, uh, this is 1, and this 2 times 1 plus 1, this is 3. Eh? So CH3, COOH. Okay, two carbons. One carbon is met, right? Met. Two carbon, two carbon should be at, right? At. Eh? And therefore, the name is ETH ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid. Eh? Now three carbons. What's the formula for three carbons? C two, okay. C two H five C O H C O H. Okay, and this is propanoic acid. Propanoic acid. Okay, and so on. This one C three H seven C O O H C four H nine. COOH, C5H11, COOH, this, uh, this is butanoic, butanoic acid, uh, pentanoic acid, and uh, hexanoic acid. So this is the, the formula and this is the name, okay? Okay, so that is the namings of carboxylic acid. Uh, this exercise, uh, continue with this exercise. Uh, drawing the structural formulas of carboxylic acid. Uh, drawing the structural formulas of, of uh, carboxylic acid. So here, we need to draw the structural formula for methanoic acid and ethanoic acid. acid uh, okay? You need to know this because uh, sometimes in the exam, they, they will ask you to draw the structural formula, especially in uh, paper two, uh, structure questions. So let's start with uh, methanoic acid. Eh? Methanoic acid. Okay, uh, first of all, what's the molecular formulas of methanoic acid? HCOOH. Okay, methanoic acid is HCOOH. Uh, now, when you are asked to draw the structural formula, the structural formulas of uh, this carboxylic acid, uh, the very first thing that you need to draw is the functional group. Uh, and the functional group of the, this uh, carboxylic acid is this COOH. So you are advised to draw this COOH first. Okay, the structures of this COOH is like this. Uh, there's one carbon, okay? One carbon, two oxygens. Uh. Now, one of the oxygens bond with the carbon with a double bond. That is the first O, eh? the first O. Uh, so one of the oxygen eh? bond with the carbon with a, with a double bond, okay? And then we have this OH, right? Now OH, uh, there's one oxygen and uh, one hydrogen. Eh? So this is the structures of the COOH, eh? the functional group, okay? We call this carboxyl group. Eh? This is called a carboxyl group. So we draw the carboxyl group first. One carbon, two oxygens, and one hydrogens. Okay, so let's check every oxygen. Every oxygen it must have two covalent bond. Every oxygen, uh, it must have two covalent bond. Uh. So this oxygen one, two, two covalent bond. This oxygen one, two, two covalent bond. Fine. Okay, every hydrogen can only have one covalent bond. Uh. So hydrogen one covalent bond, and every carbon it must have four covalent bond. One, two, three, four. Okay, so fine. This structure is okay. Yep. So always remember: uh, carbon, four covalent bond; oxygen, two covalent bond; hydrogen, one covalent bond. But then we still have one more hydrogen, right? Okay. The one more hydrogen should be here. Okay. So here, hydrogens. So this is the structures of methanoic acid. Methanoic acid. Eh? Okay, of course, uh, before you draw, you need to know the molecular formula. If you don't know the molecular formula, that's very hard for you to draw, okay? So that is how to draw the methanoic acid. Ethanoic acid. What's the formula for ethanoic acid? CH3, COOH. CH3, COOH, okay? So let's draw the COOH first, uh, the carboxyl group. COOH. 
H. Okay. Ah, uh, then then we draw the CH three. CH three is a uh, one carbon with three hydrogens. So this is the structural formulas of uh, ethanoic acid. Ah, uh, then we have this uh, propanoic acid. Eh? Propanoic acid. Ah, uh, the formulas of propanoic acid is C two H five COO H. Eh? Okay, C two H five COO H. Ah, uh, let's draw the COO H first. Okay, so this is a carboxyl group, and then we have this a C two H five, right? C two means we have two carbon, eh? two carbon, and then uh, five hydrogens. So uh, this is propanoic acid. Butanoic acid. Butanoic acid. The formula is uh, C three H seven C O O H, and then according to the questions, it has two isomers. Two isomers. So it means that you need to draw two uh, structural formulas for butanoic acid. Let's start with the first one. Uh, again, let's start with C O H. C O O H. Okay, and then we have this a C three H seven, right? Uh, one, two. Three, three carbons, okay. Three carbons, seven hydrogens. So this is the first isomer. First isomer. Then how about the second isomer? The second isomers uh, again. We start with this uh, COOH, eh? COOH, okay. Uh, we have C three, eh? so it means that we need to have three carbons, right? Okay, one, two, uh, okay. Now for the second isomer, the 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 last carbon, the last carbon attached to the second carbons in this uh longest chain or the main chain here, okay, and uh as a branch, okay, as a branch, yeah? so so this is isomers, okay. There's another carbon here, so that's the difference uh, between the first isomers and the second isomer. The second isomer it has a branch, and then uh, uh there are seven hydrogens, uh, seven hydrogens. So these are the two isomers of uh, butanoic acid. Eh? Okay, every times when we do draw the structural formula, we start with this uh, carboxyl group, eh? and then uh, after that with the carbon chain. But for butanoic, uh, there are two isomers. Okay, uh, the first one you have this uh, four carbons eh, in the longest chain, and the second one you only have three carbons in the longest chain and with one branch.